Hello everyone, and welcome to another training course presented by Kuzum. My name is Andrew, and I will be your instructor for today. Today's module is going to be meeting tab in five minutes. We're going to be talking about regression. Before we get started, please remember that this is part of the Specialized Quality Engineer and Manufacturing Engineer course presented by Kuzum. The following training module has been created in order to train people on how to use meeting tab. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us out at info at kuzum.mx. So I'm going to be switching over to meeting tab right now. Regression is an analysis executed that allows you to know the relationship between two different factors or variables. So as you can see right here in our meeting tab worksheet, we have machine number one time and millimeters in water bottle. So what we're analyzing is what is the water flow from my machine number one into my water bottle. If I put my water bottle in machine number one for 12 seconds, I'll have around 435 millimeters. If I put it for eight seconds, I'll have around 283. So we want to know how constant the machine is and if there is a relationship between how much time I put my water bottle inside the machine and how much water I get out. So what I can click on is stat regression and then fitted line plot. Now, I need to type in a response. The response is the result that I'm getting. So what I'm observing is the millimeters in the water bottle. And what I'm considering affects how many millimeters I have in my water bottle is how much time I leave it in the machine. So that will be my predictor. Now, there are different types of regression models. There's a linear model, a quadratic model, and a cubic mo model. We're going to click on a linear first so you can observe how it looks. Well, click on OK. And as you can see right here, I have a graph. The red dots represent each of my individual values here in the millimeters in the water bottle. And the time that I use to fill out the x, fact, x factor is located in the x line, which is this one right here, machine one time. So as you can see right here, my red dots follow this blue line all across. And I have an equation up here where it says millimeters in water bottle will be equal minus zero, which is it's not affected by, plus 35 times the machine one time. So for example, if I grab 12.43 and multiply it by 35, I should get 435 millimeters. Okay. So what it's telling me is a machine one fills about 35 millimeters per second. Okay. Now, if I look at the right side, it says R squared and R squared adjusted. The R squared is a statistical factor that allows you to know if your model is adequate. Now, just from looking at the graph itself, I can say that this line follows the red dots perfectly. And that way I can conclude that my model, which is this one right here, is adequate for my analysis. However, if I wanted to look at a statistical value, I can also say my R square value is 100%. That means MeTap has complete confidence that my result is correct. Usual R square values are between 80 to 100% to be considered adequate. If you have a value that is less than 80%, it's not adequate for your result. Okay? Now, let's continue our analysis. We're going to do the same thing. Stat, regression, fit a line plot. And this time, we're going to be analyzing our second machine. So our response, once again, is the millimeters that we get in machine number two in our water bottle. And our predictor is machine two time. So we're going to click on OK. And observe what has happened. MeTab has attempted to execute a linear regression, which is just a straight line, and adjusted it to our data values. But as you can see, my data does not actually follow a straight line. It tends to warp around that straight line. So that's why my R square value is no longer 100%. It's around 98%. It's still adequate for my analysis, but if I observe the extremes of my data, which is when I put it on the machine for 14 seconds, and when I put it only for 5 seconds, my line is no longer adequate for predicting how much water is inside my water bottle. So apparently, this seems to follow a slight curve. I can re-execute that test using Control e and then this time switch from a linear regression to a quadratic regression. After clicking on OK, I can see that my model, comparing one against the other, this one has an R-square of 100%, so MeTap has complete confidence that my result is adequate. On the other hand, the linear only had 98%. While still adequate, I can observe that my data points, no matter if they're at the bottom of the graph or at the top of the graph, my blue line still follows the red dots. Okay? So, as you can see from this, my equation for a quadratic, quadratic model is 0 minus 0 times the machine 2 time plus 1 time the machine 2 time times 2. So this means that this is squared. So if I grab the machine time 12 and multiply 12 times 12, I'll get 154. If I grab 8.10 and multiply by 8.10 again, so square it, I'll have 65.71. So machine number 2 fills out using a quadratic model. Okay. So just so you know, regression analysis, your main factors are your R-square value. Make sure it's greater than 80% ideally. And if you can get 100% or 95 to 100%, that is perfect. Your model will be located at the top on this section. And if you have any issues, you can also scroll up. And your model will also be right here. So your model is also executed on the session window. And you can also see your R-square values here on the session window. The analysis of variance, as well as the sequential analysis of variance, is of no use to you right now. But you can also analyze it if you wish. Okay. But your main goal is just to review your R-square value and the model that you're getting. Okay. And please make sure that the cubic, quadratic, or linear has been tested. For example, if I grab this, which is the machine number four, and switch over to a linear model, I'll see that my model no longer adjusts itself to the data. So most of the time, try at least all three options before you determine what is the perfect model for your data. OK? Well, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us out at info at kusum.mx. For the training modules, we've made available based on team requests or comments. Okay, This model was presented by Kusum. It's part of the Quality Manufacturing Engineer Specialized course. My name is Andrew. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.